forget machines. Build strong legs with these eight functional exercises. I'm building strong and sculpted legs, but doing it smartly. I'm focusing on the exercises that will target more muscle groups at the same time, maximizing your workout efficiency. But that's not all, because those exercises will also improve your daily functionality and will help you to prevent injuries. Yeah. If you are the beginner or the seasoned gym goer, this routine is definitely for you. You might be saying, come on, Max, eight exercises, it's a lot. And I will tell you to that, yes, eight exercises, in one session, it is a lot. However, that's why you can split them into four, so have two sessions. One, for example, on Monday and one on Wednesday. And your legs will definitely thank you for that. I'll show you the exercises first and tell you what muscle groups they will target. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how many sets and reps to perform for each exercises. So grab your yoga mat, wait, and let's start the workout. So the first exercise that we are going to start with, it's the king of the leg exercises, which is squat. And the squats will target your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, calves, abductors, so the groin, and also your lower back. So what you need to do, stand with your legs, shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed outward, and then slowly going down and up, down and up. And you can carry on as a body weight exercise or you can add extra weight. Magically, I got my weight just like that. But what you do, again, just remember to keep breathing, keep your back straight and engage your core so not this one rounding the back and doing like that that's a big no for your back head straight back straight down and up and of course if you've got access to the power rack at the most gym, you will have the access to that. Use this one. And not everyone can go deep into the squat. So I'll show you the modification. Grab a bench or the box and do the box squats. So you're not lowering completely down just go, touch slightly the box, and then up. And up. Another fantastic exercise that I've got for you, it's the deadlift. And deadlift will work your whole posterior chain, including your glutes, hamstrings, and the lower back. But before we grab the bar, I'll show you the exercise from the sideways so you can see the whole movement. So make sure your back stays flat. It's very important. And then the movement starts from hinging your hips backwards, okay? So your back goes back and down. Okay, let's grab the bar right now and then do some repetition. But before you even grab the bar, don't just go and then just like look for the bar and then rounding your back. Nothing like that. First of all, make sure that the bar is above your shoelaces. And then when you look forward, you go and then look for the bar and you will easily find it. And then grab it and push up. Lower, lower, lower. Push up. Yeah, and the movement goes from your heels, okay? You're not pulling with your back. Otherwise, you quickly injure your back. And then some people will grab the bar like this, and it's absolutely fine. But as you get stronger and you start putting more plates on the bar, it's getting heavier. So sometimes your bar may slip from your hands. So that's why I like to use the max grip so I can still 
make sure that I hold the bar correctly. And another secret tip is to use the chalk. Because obviously when you do the exercises, you're sweating and your palms are getting sweaty and that's why the bar is slipping out. However, if you use the liquid chalk, which will dry off very quickly and then won't make any mess at the gym, then the grip, it's much, much better. So exercise number three, back lunges. And back lunges are great exercise for the unilateral leg strength and the stability. And they will target your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, and your calves. So majority of the people have a problem with holding, keeping the balance. They will, like, it's just wobbling all the time. So what you need to do, you need to imagine that you've got like a train track going through your legs. So one leg stays on the one side of the track and the other on the other one. Grab your dumbbells and then and up. Lower down and then up. And then obviously if you can, touch slightly the floor so it shows that you've got a great control over the exercise. So you're not banging your knee like this. Let's just go down and up. Down and up. And make sure that you're not pushing with your back leg. The whole strength goes through the front leg. And don't worry if you can't go too low. We can start here and then build up to going over here. And then as a beginner, you can start with the body weight exercise. So you just perform the lunge without the weight. Obviously you can go with the weights, but at some point there will be too heavy to grip them. So you can make another modification to make it more challenging. Simply doing the deficit lunges. So let me show you. So you start from the top of the box or the bench or the step up and then go down. But again, not this one. Use the strength of the front leg. Another exercise that will help you to build your unilateral leg strength is the step up. And step up will target your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. So what do you need? You need the bench or the box or the step up. And then you put your one leg on the bench and then lift up. And remember, the same leg with the back lunges. You don't push with your back leg. So not like this. But the full exercise go through the front leg. This is the leg that is doing the workout. If it's too challenging with the bench, then grab a stepper. But if it's too easy for you, then definitely grab the dumbbells and perform it with the dumbbells. Oh, I can definitely feel it. Another exercise is the single calf raises. And unfortunately, many people avoid this exercise, but it's very important. It will build strong calves and help you with the daily movements, and especially if you are the runner. So what you need to do, step on the stepper, hold to something to keep your balance, and then you go up, and then don't stop here, you lower down. Up and down. And this hand not doing any work. Just keeping your balance. 
the whole world goes through your calf and then if it's too easy for you of course grab a dumbbell and of course don't forget to swap the legs okay we're going down but we're not resting so another exercise that will mainly target your glutes it's single leg hip first but it will also target to some extent your hamstring so grab the yoga mat get the bench dumbbell and here we go lift yourself up plant your feet on the floor and then lift one leg and the other push up and squeeze your glute at the top and I can promise you you'll feel the burn but the common mistake that people are doing is just putting the leg too, too far away from the butt by doing this exercise like this you target more your hamstring than your glutes so again move your leg closer to your butt and then lift up and squeeze and another thing is keep your chin tucked in Whew. I can definitely feel it in my glute another exercise that will target your glutes and the hamstring is the elevated single leg glute bridge so what you will need you will need the dumbbell yoga mat and the stepper Lay down on your back, place your feet on the stepper and then lift one leg up and then push up. Push up, squeezing your glutes at the top. And again, the common mistake is that people keeping the leg too far away from the butt <laughs> like this and that way you're targeting your hamstring more than your glutes so make sure you come closer but not too close to have still the full range of motion and we're going into the last exercise and imagine you want to train your hamstrings you go to the gym and you want to do the leg curls and the machine is taken it's so annoying because obviously you don't want to wait for the person two three four minutes so that's why i'm going to show you a different variation which will target your hamstring like crazy and you don't need any equipment whatsoever so lie down on your back keep your feet flat on the floor but slightly away from your butt. So this is called a single leg hamstring bridge. So what you do, you lift one leg and then push up. And up. And you can feel the burn in your hamstring. And if it's too difficult for you, then bring the foot slightly closer to your butt and then do the same. If it's too easy, well, there are two variations. Either you can take your foot away from the butt and it's really difficult. Or the other version is keep the foot at the same place that was before, but lift your hands up so you're not pushing you're not using any movement with your hands and then just go up and down and your hamstring will get so strong without any equipment all right my friends that's it for this video where i gave you eight exercises that will help you to build strong legs and don't forget the consistency is the key do some cool downs and some stretches after the workout routine just to prevent any injuries. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. 
And if you want to build muscles, then watch my next video about the progressive overload without using any equipment. But right now, peace out. And as promised on the beginning, here is the plan for performing those exercises.